In this podcast, let's talk about the notion of occupation. We want to see the difference with the annexation and to imagine how it's possible to analyze uh, those concepts, uh, not only uh, on strategic games or even in a artificial framework, but in a real situation in geopolitics and of course uh, in the case of war. So the occupation is a very complex system in reality because it means that you made an attack and you have to keep this region with your forces. So you need to control everything. So it's very difficult. It's not just an attack. So to get a real result, uh, if your country is next to the occupied territory, you can do something which is an annexation. But the problem is when it's far. So you have to occupy it, this with a specific force. And this is a friction for you. So it's not always a good thing, as uh, we never thought about that, to occupy a region if it's not close to your boundaries. So the idea is when you have this kind of occupation, if you can live inside this occupied territory um, more or less in an autonomous way. So we can imagine that we can transpose this problem in this configuration in um, the strategic game of Go. And we have uh, a specific terminology about that because it's a Tsume Go and it's a question of life or death. So the idea is not if you can win or not on the entire Goban, but if some specific stones can live or die in a local region. So the idea is to imagine that you need two things. You need to see the big picture and to see if it is possible to save all the stones. And of course, it's impossible. So you have to choose some of them to save some of them and to sacrifice the others, even if you want to win. So we can imagine that the occupation uh, has to be uh, big enough to resist to a counterattack. But by the way, you have to keep stones in this region. And for example, you need in Goban, in Go, you need at least two eyes to get this kind of result. But it doesn't mean that it's very efficient for you because even if this substructure lives uh, is not necessarily very important because maybe you have with this territory only a few points and this is the crucial point when we try to transpose this in the reality of geopolitics.